before moving any further and applying gauss's law we must have some knowledge about field due to continuous distribution of charges we already know about field and force due to discrete charges to know about continuous distribution of charges let us assume that charges on a surface are located very close together in such a way that such a system of charges can be assumed to have continuous distribution of charges now in a system of closely spaced charges total charge could be continuously distributed among some line over a surface or throughout a volume now let us consider a surface of arbitrary shape and size we now divide the continuous charge distribution into small elements containing charge delta q amount of charge as shown in this figure now electric field at any point a due to element carrying charge delta q is given by this equation which is delta e is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not delta q upon r square r cap now here this r is the distance of element under consideration from point a and this r cap is the unit vector in the direction from charged element towards point a now total electric field at point a due to all such charge elements in the charge distribution is given by this equation where this index i refers to the ith charge element in the entire charge distribution now since the charge is distributed continuously over some region the sum becomes integral hence total field at a within the limit delta qi tends to 0 is given by this equation here this integral is done over the entire charge distribution now if a charge q is uniformly distributed along a line of length l the line charge density lambda is defined as lambda is equals to q by l and unit of this lambda is coulomb per meter also for charge distributed non uniformly over a line linear charge density would be lambda is equals to dq upon dl where this dq is the amount of charge in a small length element dl now if a charge q is uniformly distributed over surface of area a the surface charge density sigma is defined as sigma is equals to q by a and unit of surface charge density is coulomb per meter square again for non uniform distribution of charges over a surface surface charge density would be sigma is equals to dq upon da where this da is a small area element of charge tq similarly for uniform charge distributions volume charge density is given as rho is equals to q by v and for non uniform distribution of charges rho is equals to dq upon dv now unit of volume charge density is coulomb per meter cube for more information please visit physicscatalyst.com